Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies. We're going to be working with this groupie today. Her name is Roz, and Roz is all about reflection. We're going to be reflecting on where to place our colors with this guy, Piet Modrian. Piet Modrian is a famous artist who did abstract art and he only used the primary colors, black and white. And he kept his black lines in vertical and horizontal lines, and he filled in spaces that the vertical and horizontal lines created with primary, and, uh, with primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. So we're gonna create a simple piece today using primary colors, a black piece of paper and the white piece of paper is going to be for our background. So using our scissors we are simply going to create different sizes of black strips. So thin, thick, skinny, fat, all different types of black strips. You want some short, some long, some medium, and some thin. So the first thing you're going to de decide is where are you going to place these black strips to create some really interesting spaces to put our primary colors. Um, and this is where Roz comes in at. You want to reflect. You want to think about what is it exactly that you're trying to create? So if I start out first with maybe my blue square up here in the corner and I place my strips around it, I'm then going to decide where I would like to maybe put a yellow rectangle. Maybe I don't want my rectangle so big, so I'm going to cut that into a smaller rectangle and then place another strip alongside it and then another one here kind of boxing that shape in then perhaps I want to make a area for a red rectangle I could lay it next to, or I could put it in another space altogether, and use my different black strips to kind of corral them in or put them into spaces. At the end is probably when I want to glue them all down. I don't want to do that right away because again I might want to move things around. I might not like them in those different spaces. You might need to cut some more black strips. But this is another type of abstract artist. An abstract artist just uses lines, shapes, and colors and he creates a piece of art that doesn't have pictures like horses or people. So after you lay all your strips out and decide exactly where you want them to go, then you need to glue them down. But again, all of your black strips should be going either vertically or horizontally, not diagonally. And you want to make sure all the strips of color are kind of like boxed in. So again, famous artist, Piet Modrian. And I'm just using primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and black strips to create an interesting abstract design. So voila, there you have it. Enjoy and have fun creating your own unique abstract design. See you later.